One woman is hoping to help girls feel normal again, one headband at a time. Anyway, do you have a favorite color? Blue. Jessica Ekstrom is a familiar face at children's hospitals in the Raleigh-Durham area. Let's see it. <laughs> and the colorful headbands of hope that she gives to young cancer patients around the country are welcome accessories. You want to see yourself? Look at your face. <laughs> to go into the hospitals and see their reactions when they put on the headbands and to see girls open up because of a simple headband that gives them so much confidence. It's hard not to believe in that when you see it. You have beautiful hair. Jessica started the company before she graduated from North Carolina State University. Thanks for letting me come by. Thank you, too. For each headband sold, a dollar is donated to cancer research. Plus, a headband is put aside for a girl undergoing cancer treatment. 12-year-old Megan Bunn lost her hair during treatment for a brain tumor two years ago. After becoming friends with Jessica, she has a headband in her favorite colors named after her. It gives me, like, a sense of security because it can tell your personality by a lot. And it gives me hope that one day I know that I can wear it and have hair. Jessica's idea for the company came after an internship where she dressed as a princess for a young cancer patient whose dying wish was to meet Sleeping Beauty. It was truly at that moment where everything that I thought I knew about my life changed. Everything I thought I wanted changed. And I wanted to recreate that feeling of helping others and do it in my own way. And I found that headbands were the perfect way to do that. A headband can allow a girl who has lost her hair to retain her feminine identity without hiding the fact that she is battling cancer. Most of our kids do lose their hair during treatment, so anything that helps them compensate for them or anything on the head, particularly in this case, the headbands are just incredibly special for the children. Nine-year-old Embry Duffy remembers the first headband she received during treatment for leukemia. I wasn't wearing anything on my head that day. Those were really pretty. They made me feel really nice. It was really nice of her to give them to me. It means a lot to the kids and makes a big difference in what can be hard days. I'll let you have all of these. Do you like them? <laughs> pretty headbands to remind each patient that even though she is fighting an ugly disease, she is no less beautiful. So sweet. What a great idea. And over the past two years, 20,000 of these headbands of hope have been given to children's hospitals around the country, and $20,000 has been donated to cancer research. We applaud Jessica for all she's done. Yes. Amazing. That woman looked great. Oh, they look good. Yeah, yeah, they such are beautiful. Such a small thing, but it does for a little girl to lose so her much. hair. It just is so hard, so difficult. I love so, those. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. Yeah. They are such beautiful kids. What a great thing. And it yeah. means, to your point, for yeah. girls especially. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, if you know someone or, or somebody's great story, spread